let the games begin. As students faced off during their recent Superhero Science Middle School STEM Fair. We have about 100 kids today competing in STEM challenges that challenges their science and engineering skills to work together as a team and work against the challenge to solve the challenge. So our theme this year is superhero science. The students will design a bow and arrow for Hawkeye or they will levitate a mass of metal for Magneto or they will create a leaping device to get Wonder Woman through or around or over a building. With string, popsicle sticks, cotton balls, and other materials, the task at hand was to create a bow with the capability of launching a projectile to a target. Levitation was the driving force as students worked with a variety of objects like paper clips, masking tape, and string. So the Magneto Challenge, there's a lot of precision needed, so we need to make sure everybody was in the right spots, because if this one person moved, the whole thing would go down. So we had to use a lot of communication, like, because we were all on different sides. We decided that it would be easier to use a different type of string, and we were communicating correctly because a lot of people wanted to use different things, so we had to agree on a specific item to use. Yeah, our teamwork was great because we could agree on what to do. Even though it didn't come out right, like we didn't end up winning it, we still had a great plan. Jumping from place to place challenged the students to design a trampoline with rubber bands, a golf ball, string, and basic everyday materials. For the Wonder Woman challenge, I like least that it was a very small hole that even if you were to be trying to throw it normally in, it was pretty hard to do. I feel like it should be a little bit easier. So we had to like create like some type of stru structure to like bounce the ball and make it go over or through the window. And that was kind of hard because we had to place the rubber bands in a certain spot. The teachers actually designed the challenges and um, figured out what the students would need and if it's the appropriate level of difficulty for the students. In the end, the real challenge for the students is their understanding that science is everywhere they look, with problems to be solved every day.